Hi, and welcome back to Book, Stage and Screen. You're here with Samantha and Gordon, and we are delighted to have Lisa Trillo from Howard Fine Studios joining us. Hi, Lisa. Hello. Thanks for joining us. Now, this is the time of the year when everyone's thinking, what am I going to do next year? And that's when we thought, you know what, we should talk to some of our fine studios, acting studios out there and find out what they've been doing this year and mm. what they're doing next year. So like, you're going to have one hell of a Christmas party down there. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> so there are two schools, one in LA and one here in Melbourne. Why <coughs> Why Melbourne? What, what was the attraction of Melbourne? If, if uh, you know? It was actually from so Patrick Constantino and Phil Evans, who, uh, who I guess manage and run the studio, who own the Melbourne studio here, actually found out about Howard Fine's teaching and he does he, he teaches quite a unique method. It's his own method mm-hmm. derived from what he learnt from Uta Hagen. And uh, it's a very specific way of, of teaching and Pat and Phil both said, you know what, this would be wonderful to have in Melbourne because we really have nothing like it. Australia really offers nothing like this technique. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so they, I think they tested Howard <laughs> for about five years <laughs> and asked him, would you come out, would you keep some classes, would you... And eventually Howard gave in and went, okay, well, these guys are obviously really committed uh, and determined to have me over, so let's just try it out. And uh, and so he came out, uh, the first year was 2011, he came out and ran a master class and it was so successful. And it's true, everybody everybody absolutely loves it. We, we don't, we're not used to this way of teaching here, so okay. um, it's great to have him. And had had you taken his classes in LA before, or were you new to it when not, you came here as well? No, not in LA. I, I came into the studio 2012. Mm-hmm. Um, a friend and colleague of mine, actually, Sarah Hallam, invited me along to one of the classes uh, which was run by a, a voice coach, an amazing voice coach called David Corey, and it was offered as part of the course um, that we run. Uh, it's called Singing and Speech for Actors, and she invited me along to just to, to watch and be a part of the audience. And I just fell in love with the teaching and the studio itself, so that was my introduction to it. That was back in 2012. Okay, and are you now teaching yourself? Mm, yes, yes. So I did, uh, straight after 2012, I did the 2013 uh, full-time program mm-hmm. uh, and soaked it all in and really immersed myself in the, uh, the technique. And then uh, a little while after that, um, Howard asked will I consider teaching and so then I, I kind of had to think about that one for a long time. <laughs> Not really, no, I just went absolutely, I was I. I am I'm sold. I'm a fan, and so then I spent the next two years kind of training to uh, to teach, and that involved a trip over to LA, learning from Howard, and obviously when all the teachers come out here, learning from them, and uh, and then this year's been my first step into teaching there. So if somebody does want to learn the the Howard Fine method, what what, mm-hmm. what do they do? What to walk us through the process now? If there's somebody listening who's a potential yeah. student, so look. There's a few different ways in, uh, and it depends really on your uh, level of investment and what you can commit um, physically and financially. So there are short courses that we run all through the year. Mm-hmm. Um, the best way to be doing those is there are two. There's one called the found, well, Foundation and another one called The Process, and they are six weeks and three weeks respectively and they will really give you a a core understanding of what we offer and what we teach and how we teach and they're also prerequisites to doing scene study with Howard or um, as a part of our course so that's one way doing the short courses Mm -hmm. Um, the other way there we we are running the full-time course obviously that is um, an annual course it starts in around late Feb I think and goes through to November Uh, and that is an intensive commitment um, but it's a really wonderful course and it's three to four days per week uh, and and we run those by audition and so uh, we're open I think until for audition until the 2nd of December that's when we're closing up audition so if people do want to be a part of that they should jump on that and they can book that through our website um, howardfine dot of howardfineactingstudio.com.au uh, and then also we run a part-time course and that's six months of the year so 
So that if, you know, depending on people's commitment and um, in terms of what else they're doing in their lives, there's lots to offer there, I guess. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And so you talked about, you've talked about technique quite a lot and we're Mm. not actors. (laughs) We do work (laughs) with actors, but we're not actors. Um, So I guess what, what, how does the Howard Fine uh, method stand out, I guess, or differ from, I, I, I know, others? Yeah. Um, it's a great question. Um, Howard, so Howard, as I said, derived his um, technique from Uta Hagen, who he trained with. Uta Hagen was one of the golden age actors in Hollywood and, um, and an amazing acting teacher who passed away now. Uh, but her technique is all about finding what, um, how we as the person connect up or uh, marry up, I suppose, with the character and not seeing the character as something so outside of ourselves that we we have to fake it to try and act it, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So how, one of Howard's great quotes is he, he gets the actor to ask, what in the human condition is this about and where does it live inside me? So where do I plug into that? Where do I relate to the character? How are we similar? How are we the same? Yeah. And then working from there. So it's working really from a, a place of empathy. Um, and that's different to a lot of other techniques in, uh, in that it requires that you look inside, I suppose, more than other techniques rather than just faking it. Yeah. Rather than putting it up, putting on an act to, to try and achieve a purpose, we actually look inside and go, well, where do I, where do I connect up with this character? And how long does it take just your standard novice actor to, to get on top of the, the system? Yeah, that's another <laughs> good question. I don't know. And I suppose that, that really depends on the person and where the person is in their personal journey. Um, uh, I think, for example, if somebody was very, well, not at all, let's say, not at all in touch with their, their, themselves emotionally and... Um, didn't really have an idea, kind of swum through life, not really having any sort of consciousness about who they were, (laughs) then that might take that person longer um, to really understand it. But having said that, um, it is quite simple to understand. Once you get the foundations uh, in place, it is something that you can assimilate to very quickly. And if you're willing to, I suppose, go there, then it's you know, then mm. it's probably quite a quick process. And do you also get a lot of directors coming through to to learn how to communicate with actors? We do, but you know what? I wish there were more. <laughs> 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 we do. Every masterclass, we'll usually get a few directors, and sometimes even ma- uh, directors do the masterclass and participate in the masterclass to really get... Um, an understanding of how an actor works and they're my favorite kind of directors Mm -hmm. um and it is it is so beneficial to directors to understand how an actor works um but yeah there's there's obviously still a big a big gap there Mm. can Mm. i ask um and this is just from an outsider's point of view with that technique do you think uh females or male actors take it on better or do you think it's what you said before in terms of... Um, She's going to say women are better. Yeah, well, when I was listening to it, I was thinking, that's kind of interesting. I wonder whether it's females that would take that on better or males, you know? Yeah, that is such a great question and it's so topical. And actually, that's an area that really excites me um, personally. Um, and you know what? I would have to say that in Australia, it's... It, seems to be uh, that women gravitate to it more easily mm. um, than men do and I'm just saying that probably because of the the numbers that we see coming mm. through the studio so it's 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 we do get all, uh, more women coming through yep. um, but I do think the culture's changing um, I and I do think it goes back to it probably does go back to um, perhaps a little, you know, a, a bit of a bloke culture, and mm. um, it's different in LA. Actually, um, out there, there are more men who who are a part of the studio, or it seems to be that way anyway. But you know, I'm no expert. Yeah, yeah. I'm just kind of looking at it from an outside perspective. But it is, it's, it's definitely interesting, and it's probably something you know that uh, I would love to see shift in our culture. 
Well, I'm sure it would. It's just, um, I mean, anyone who obviously goes and auditions knows the technique you have, so they're yeah. already, that appeals to them. Mm. Um, and you know, uh, different things appeal to different actors for different reasons. I just, when you were describing it, I'm like, oh, that sounds like something, you know, I would like. I'm not sure, Gordon. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But just that, just, that's interesting. So now you have auditions. What kind of, if someone was thinking of auditioning, what, what do they have to prepare or bring to you? Yeah. So it's two monologues, um, one of which needs to be from the list on okay. the website. Yeah. Uh, and the other one can be their, their own personal choice. Right. Um, but also I'd recommend um, having a look at Howard Fine's book as well in preparation for, it's not necessary, but yeah. it, it's a good head start. Um, his book's called Fine on Acting, A Vision of the Craft, and that just gives a, a pretty solid, obviously, thorough um, foundation about the technique. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um now, also, we were going to say, what do you think is important for actors and actresses today in terms of, well, we know social media is becoming <laughs> a bit more, unfortunately, um, mm. a bit more of a, uh, you know... It's, well, it's essential now. Yeah, essential. Than, mm. um, but also, I mean, that's for all creatives, like authors and things. You have to have a, have a platform as such. Um, yeah. In terms of you, there are schools out there such as yourself to learn techniques. Is there anything else that you could suggest to um, actors and actresses out there? Ah, uh, so many things. Um, in terms of getting work, do you mean? Yes, I guess so. And getting experience, just getting your your, your foot in the door. Yeah. Well, I do think I do think uh, training goes a long way. Mm-hmm. Um, and discipline. I think discipline is really something that sets people apart. Um, you can be as talented as anything, uh, but if you're not disciplined, if you're not committed, if you're not prepared to go the hard yards and do and turn up to auditions and rehearsals on time, mm-hmm. do work outside of just what feels good. So I'm talking about... Um, there is obviously the, a, a huge celebrity following and just to remove, if it's something that you really want to do, mm. acting is to actually remove yourself from that pursuit. So I'm not saying you need to um, not care about celebrities, but if you're in it to be a celebrity or if you're in it to get fame, then it's going to be, it's going to set you apart. If you do have an excellent work ethic, if yeah. you're committed, disciplined, yeah, that will go a long way. Um, and yeah, and just to try to swim against the tide, I suppose, in that sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, that's good advice, and also, as you say, training. It's all with with any creative endeavour. Training. You keep- well, yeah, and that just comes under the discipline. Really, that's just uh, it. It will go a long way, and and training, training that we offer as well is so uh, holistic. So it has knock on effects in terms of your who you are as a person as well, yeah, <laughs> which is really good. great. So yeah. Uh, well, thanks so much for joining us today. It sounds like um, a really interesting studio you've got down there and a technique that I'm sure mm. would appeal to quite a lot of actors and actresses out there. And luckily, mm. you've got auditions at the moment for another couple of weeks so yeah. they can try out for next year or look on your website for the different courses that you mentioned. That's right. Yeah, beautiful. And what are you going to be? Are you acting yourself over the summer break? Are you going to be... I am actually just about to go off on a holiday and my first... Thing when I'm coming back is I'm directing a project. So I'm directing and then I'm acting and one later on the year then directing again. So, uh, yes, I've got a busy year ahead. Wonderful. Well, you can come and talk to us about your directing (laughs) (laughs) and your project. Good luck with your projects and have fun down there at Howard Fine Studios. Thank you very much. Pleasure to talk to you both. Thanks, Lisa. Bye. Bye. Bye.